a classic Star Wars remake, Grogu goes on parade, and news from the Kenobi set. Give us five minutes, and we'll give you the galaxy. I felt a great disturbance in the Force. Many of the truths we cling to depend greatly on our own point of view. This is Pete Fletzer, and welcome to Disturbances in the Force. Another week, another flood of news, rumors, clickbait, and conversation. All the links to the original stories can be found in the notes, and I urge you to check them out. So let's get to it. There is one Star Wars video game that is consistently at the top of all-time fan favorites, and that is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Recognized as the first role-playing game based in the Star Wars universe, and one of the most intriguing Star Wars stories ever told, this game was released in 2003 and has had a loyal following to this day. Well, this week in a surprise announcement at the PlayStation Showcase event, Aspire and Lucasfilm announced the game will make a triumphant return, remade for PlayStation 5 at launch and later available on PC. This is not a modern port or an upgrade, but it is a full remake from the ground up. No release date was announced, but the trailer and full article can be found in the links below. StarWars.com announced that a Funko Pop-styled Baby Yoda balloon will be part of this year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The balloon will tower above the streets of Manhattan at 41 feet tall, 29 feet long, and 37 feet wide. Grogu will be chasing an enormous inflated silver-colored knob from the Razor Crest control lever. This is also his favorite toy. Along with the announcement of Grogu's parade debut, Funko announced several related collectibles, including a pop figure, keychains, t-shirts, and hoodies. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is November 25th and will be broadcast on NBC TV nationwide at 9 a.m. East. September 22nd is a day that Star Wars fans have marked on their calendar as the release date for Star Wars Visions. Earlier this week, the official movie-style poster was revealed on StarWars.com, and while this striking image caught many people's attention, the link also featured some unexpected information at the end casually mentioning that all episodes will be available on launch day. This is the first original new content that Star Wars has dropped on Disney Plus all at once, as opposed to a week-to-week -week release schedule. On Wednesday last week, Hasbro held their Pulse Fan First livestream and revealed dozens of Star Wars products available for pre-order and in the pipeline, as well as many exclusives. Among the highlights were the Black Series Mandalorian credit collection featuring the Mando himself, Kuil, Grief Karga, Moff Gideon, and the Armor, and multiple classic vintage collection figures including Lobot, Emperor Palpatine, and a Stormtrooper 4-pack. They also revealed the box art for the HasLab Razorcrest Black Series vehicle and announced it will ship in January 2022, slightly later than expected. The biggest fan reaction came from the announcement of a new Rey Skywalker Force Effects lightsaber, modeled on the weapon she ignites in the last scene of Episode 9 on Tatooine. Information on all products is available at the Hasbro Pulse website. Fans got their first look at the upcoming LEGO Halloween special coming to Disney Plus as the official trailer for LEGO Star Wars Terrifying Tales hit the internet last week. The clips featured insight to some of the stories that will be told, including Ben Solo meeting a character named Ren, first seen in Charles Soule's comic book series, Darth Maul getting his robot legs, and a take on the classic Monkey's Paw wish-granting story. The special, which reminds fans that Star Wars can make fun of itself, will drop on October 1st only on Disney+. And you can see the trailer in the links below. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Bespin Bulletin, a website known for uncovering leaks and information from Star Wars projects in production, dropped some information this week about the upcoming Kenobi series. They've been told that filming was taking place in Southern California at the East Los Angeles College swimming pool. Their sources tell them that emergency medical technicians were on set and that the pool was surrounded by blue screens. Concept art that featured soldiers fighting a multi-armed sea creature has been spotted by sharp-eyed fans who've seen the investor-exclusive presentation of the show last year. Other sources have shared that a scene featuring Darth Vader entering a forest was shot recently using the volume virtual set. There is no confirmation if these two shoots are connected, but we will know more when the Kenobi series lands on Disney Plus sometime next year. 
Well, that wraps it up for this week's Disturbances in the Force. Make sure to check out the Around the Galaxy podcast for weekly one-on-one interviews with the people behind the fandom. This Tuesday, we have a very special Best Of episode featuring the most humorous moments from our first 130 shows. Please subscribe for regular updates, follow us on all your social media channels at ATGCast, and visit our website, ATGCast.com, to keep up with us, find our merch, and get information about supporting the show as an Around the Galaxy patron. Thank you so much for listening, and may the Force be with you.